right, watch fans. Uh, I've got another watch to review. Now, I have to say, um, I was on vacation, so most of the videos that you've been watching between now and, and just after the year are ones that uh, I actually did ahead of time. And my Watch King watches were all held up in shipping. And that's what this is, but I have no idea what it is, right? This, this should be for December for black. Rain. All right, let's see what this is. This looks like a Heritor. Oh, rain. Okay. Very cool. Oh, that looks really sweet. Nice. Merry and Bright. Watch Gang. Oh, okay. Some cool stuff. All right, let's take a look at this. Rain. This is nice. It's got... It's a, an automatic... You can see the heartbeat. It's got a, let's see, what is that? 24 hour monitor? I'm gonna have to take a look at this. But it's really nice. Like, I really like this watch. 100 meter, oh man, okay. I think this is an NH25. I am super happy with this. All right, let me do a little bit of research on this brand. Um, go ahead and take a look at this video that I will make but haven't made yet. And you should see it right now. According to the Kronos 24 History of Rain Watches article, Rain watches are incredible watches created for those who have an eye for unmatched quality and aesthetics. Rain timepieces were worn by individuals who understand and appreciate the value of being number one. They know what it takes to rule. As the name implies, these gorgeous and timeless watches are meant for those who take control of high class situations. The brand's watches are made with the highest levels of premium materials constructed to give you the best watch experience. The superior attention to details of the Rain watch designs has helped the company in acquiring an impressive fan base that loves great watches. With Rain watches, you dominate your style and rule with grace. No matter how you look at it, watches will continue to be an essential accessory used by men. Watches bring out the handsomeness and the practicality in the individuals who wear them. They also flesh out the character of whatever ensemble you're putting on. Although the article is fairly expressive, rain watches are in fact made of high quality materials. They are assembled in Hong Kong, though labeled as China and use quality source parts from around the world. This includes high beat Japanese movements and the finest leather and stainless watch bands and bracelets. Fit and finish as well as quality control are quite good. The Rain Watch Company was first founded in 2015 by a Dutch entrepreneur and is owned by the same managing company that owns Heritor Watch Company. This is made apparent by the use of the same packaging materials as are used by Heritor. Going to both rainwatches.com and heritorwatches.com reveal the same contact information. Rain watches have small management offices in three locations. Their primary office is located in Manchester, England in the Graphics House Manufacturing and Office Center, as well as a US-based office located in West Bloomfield, Michigan, and finally a small design office in Amsterdam, Netherlands. All rain watches are automatics that include either Chinese or Japanese based movements. The company offers dress, everyday, field and dive watches with a typical price range between 250 to 1000 US dollars. All right, so now you know a little bit more about the brand. Um, kind of cool, no instructions. Oh, yes there are, let's see. Let's take a look at these really quick. Go ahead and take a look at it. Reminds me very much like uh, Heritor, so I would suspect um, interesting. Very nice. I'm I'm really happy with this watch. Uh, this is this is definitely a quality watch. I like it. Um, so let's get right into it, uh, and I'll take all these things off. One of the things I noticed: this is in fact a uh, it's an NH39A. Um, Seiko uh, movement, so it's it's actually really nice, and I'm I'm super happy with this. I mean, this is very cool. 24 hour 
uh, sub dial there so it, so it tells you when it's set to so you can see like now that it's afterwards you can do military time or just so you understand where it is it also has a hacking feature which is pretty cool because watch the heartbeat boom done but this is really nice like I, I love the tachometer inside um, very nice deep dish case if you can see that I'll try and slow down I tend to I guess to not show really too much but uh, very nice watch I mean this is a real looker I I really like this watch this watch is super nice you know the only problem I have is this I have so many watches and this is a gorgeous style I love to be able to see the uh, the inside um, and and honestly you know it's funny because I was just saying that I really like the watches I've been getting from watch gang but one of the things that I was concerned about is like you know I kind of want I've been watching some of the other guys who are getting these uh, quartz watches with the big steel bands and and, and I kind of thought to myself you know I, I really kind of want um, one of those too you know it's it's kind of a shame that all I'm getting is just is just the uh, the leather strap ones and look here I get a nice a nice watch with a with a steel bracelet and first thing you should notice too about this is that these are solid lengths this is a nice quality bracelet it's not an uh, an open uh, end which I don't have one really to show you but it yeah here's here's a, an old Seiko watch but you can see how it's it's sort of a butterfly it's open I've never liked those the really nice watches come with a, a solid end link and that's what this is it really fits in there it's a solid piece solid billet piece and then the individual pieces come off of that and this thing is legitimately solid I'm gonna weigh it too in a couple minutes because I'm gonna give you an idea of what this weighs but I was really happy from Watch Gang to kind of see um, what you know that I was actually gonna get one of these so this is this is um, this is a real pleasure because even though I, I liked my my November one, which was a hair tour, I really did like also having the ability to get something like this. I want something that's got some weight to it and looks like this, but isn't necessarily a dive watch. Although this is 100 meters, which is spectacular. Um, such a great watch. Uh, before I go into all the detail with this and I talk about how much I paid, uh, remember total cost for uh, black is $127 shipped with tax. That is your all-in price, $127. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on this watch to find out um, what my takeaway is this based on MSRP and what I'm seeing on the internet at the time. Uh, today is the 2nd of January. But before that, let's take a quick look at this movement so you can get an idea of uh, what this Seiko movement in, uh, entails. The Rain Impaler is powered by the NH39A movement by SII. Founded in 1937, SII is a member of the Seiko Group and stands for the Seiko Instruments Incorporated Corporation. SII specializes in the manufacture of watches and leverages its core competency to create high precision watches and movements that are utilized by watch manufacturers all over the world. As a well-known quality movement manufacturer, Seiko Watch Corporation cooperates closely with watch producers in the planning and sales to ensure their movements are well represented. The NH39A is a high-end, 24-joule hand-wound automatic hacking movement. The movement beats at 21,600 beats per hour with a simple three-hand configuration with hour, minute, and central sweep second. The NH39A features a 24-hour time indicator at the 11 o'clock position and an open-heart window at the 9 o'clock location. This movement is a very high quality movement from the NH3 line of Seiko movements. The NH39A has automatic winding with ball bearing and is additionally capable of manual winding. Accuracy of the movement is quite good, maintaining plus or minus 20 seconds per day at normal operating ambient temperature range. All right, so now you know this is a spectacular movement. And I have to say one of the biggest problems I have with watch gang is that I end up with so many watches that I want to keep and that's a problem because I don't know what to do with them so uh, as you probably saw in the beginning of the video this is the rain impaler semi-skeleton watch so I did I did a little bit of research on the pricing the uh, and uh, first I'm gonna say there's 10 different models of this watch and I think I got honestly the nicest one I mean watch gang must really know who I am and I, I promise you this is not paid um, they're not giving me anything uh, just 
just their services that I'm paying for. But uh, there's 10 different models of this watch, and this is exactly the one that I would have wanted. Um, and, you know, I, I have to emphasize, too, this isn't like some just nonsense garbage one that was left over uh, from all the good choices. This is probably the most ideal one that anybody would want to pick uh, of all the color combinations and, and band color combinations. I will show those up here to the right so you can see them as I go through. Now, the MSRP for this is 550 euros, which comes out to roughly $670 US American dollars, probably maybe 710, 715 Canadian. Um, I tried to look and see if I could find any for sale. There were none really for sale. I didn't see too many. I saw one on eBay uh, selling for $165 and I had a couple bids. So it may actually sell for a little bit more. Um, I also looked at Joma Shop, uh, who a lot of you guys will know, and that listed for $349. Um, worth mentioning is that the movement alone is about $60 to $70, and that's at significant cost, uh, like getting it from some shady uh, place on eBay. Uh, maybe not, you know, if you were to order it directly from, uh, I think, uh, uh, Esslinger or something like that, you might end up paying closer to $80. So this is a really good price. I mean, I basically paid, again, remember my price was $127. So this is a spectacular price uh, for this watch. Um, even if you were just going to buy it new or, you know, a surprise as a, as a watch gang. Um, but let's go ahead and actually get into the watch because I'm doing a lot of talking and not actually showing much of the watch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh this first. So I'll do it in grams. It is 170.8, so we'll say 171 grams. It is an automatic with the NH39A, as I said, and it does have a hacking feature. Boom, super cool. And you can even see the pallet fork down there at the bottom, which I really like, as well as the, the balance. Um, you can see it's got a, a display back which is super nice. It is a 100 meter water resistance, and I'll put a chart up here so you can see it. 100 meters allows you to do swimming and some basic snorkeling, which is really nice. Uh, this watch is perfect for that. You absolutely could and would want to wear this to the beach. It is a uh, steel bracelet. You know, it's not like some of the other ones that are 100 meters where I've shown you and they have a, um, what is it, a, a leather strap? Nobody's gonna put a leather strap in the water. This is 100% uh, um, 316 stainless steel. It's it's spectacular. The uh, the movement um, beats, it's, it's got 24 joules, beats about 40, uh, what is it? Uh, 21,600 beats per hour, 40 hour power reserve, and I'm actually reading off of a list, sorry. I had to do this really quick. I just came back from vacation and I wanted to get this out because I was pretty happy about it and excited. I've got about five boxes I have to get through, so this is what it is. Um, both the front and back are sapphire coated mineral crystals. Now, I've gone over this before, but these are the uh, same as what Wenger and uh, what does Ingersoll do, which is three layers of sapphire coating. Um, it is, uh, let's see. The hands, we'll, we'll take a look at that. 24 hour sub dial up there at the top. Um, it, let's, let's do some measurements. I wanna say it's probably a 42 millimeter. I can measure it this way because it's square. Yep, 41.9, so it's 42. The uh, lug width is 22. And let's check the depth. I'm gonna guess 14. 13.1, okay, I was off. So 13. Uh, so that's that's not bad. It's actually a good, decent size, 42 millimeter case. Very nice. I'm gonna put it on too. I haven't adjusted it yet, but you know what? This is gonna be a keeper. I'm gonna keep this one. Butterfly clasp, very nice. It's big. I have a seven half inch wrist, so. But even still, this is nice. I may even give this to my dad after I've worn it for a little bit. I don't know if that's bad. But uh, I, I really like this. It's uh, signed here. It's signed, obviously, in the face. Let's see, it's signed in the back. Tells you all the information on it there. And, of course, the crown has got their logo, which is a crown, which is very nice. Uh, and let's check the loom on that. All 
All right, so the only thing that lights up, of course, is the 24 hour hand uh, and the minute and hour and second hand, which is okay. Don't expect too much from it for that. You know, it's not something that you're necessarily gonna wear. Um, but again, very happy with this. Watch Gang really knows what I want. I mean, of course, when you sign up for Watch Gang, you go through the whole menu process and you kind of tell them your lifestyle. Um, let's see, I listed the one because I'm from Miami. So I did the one where, you know, I like to have cocktails with my trendy friends, but I also like to do stuff and hundred dollars a month. So this is not bad at all. Very nice. Really not much more to say about this, but it's a very quality watch. I'm very happy with this and this is definitely a keeper and uh, hope you like this video. Uh, please leave a like and if you want to see more, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, likes really help out. It, it gives this, uh, it gives this, these videos more presence and more, uh, it helps with the, the search criteria on, on, uh, on YouTube. And it really helps me out, makes it worthwhile. I don't make any money on these videos, but uh, it certainly makes it more worthwhile for me. Thank you very much.